So guys, right here we're repairing this gutter. It's, I'll show you where it's leaking from under the gutter. Usually where these gutters are seamed together is a leak point. And the fix for it is pretty simple. I'll show you our product that we use and mostly recommend it for this. One thing you gotta make sure it's bone dry in here. So you gotta flush this out really good with water and then take some paper towels or washcloths and get any granulates out and it's gonna be bone dry. Now this product here is a gutter tape, six inches in width. It usually comes in about a 25 foot roll. So you can do a lot of house with it. And these are $30 per repair. So if you keep this on your truck, you can repair a leaky gutter a few minutes thirty dollars per repair so let's go ahead and get it stuck in there sometimes you got to overlap it a little bit and you got to press all the air out of the seams basically and it's a fairly permanent seal I've seen these last six seven eight years much superior than putting some type of caulking or silicon in it. I think we will need one more little section in it. For sure. So again, these rolls come in six inches width. Um, I think there's a nine inch roll too. That's for commercial gutters, but 25 feet long. So oftentimes if you have a 90 degree turn like this, it's where they're gonna leak. Sometimes, if a limb or something has punctured through the bottom of the gutter, then that could be an issue. But most often per repair, you might use a foot of it, you know, two six inch pieces. Even if it was two 12 inch pieces, you can get, you know, good 10 fixes out of a roll, $30 per repair. So, and these will work um, in the little vinyl gutters as well. So this is stick to aluminum galvanized copper vinyl whatever kind of gutters you're repairing this stuff's pretty good the ideal thing is to get it clean and dry so that's where the $30 repair costs come in because you may have to get up there and flush it with some water or either brush it out or blow it out with some air would be ideal especially now if you're out there cleaning the gutters on a residence and you notice a leak then you can always double back the next day and catch some of these repairs. And oftentimes if there's one leak, there's four or five leaks. So a few other things I wanna talk about repairing gutters. The benefit of repairing these gutters is you're actually sealing that leak that prevents that water from dripping out of the gutter where it's not really designed to. That drip can be a continuous drip for days even after it comes around because the gutter has some water residue left in it. And that could cause wood rot or it can cause spotting on concrete or even slime to build up on a concrete to make it a slip hazard right in that specific area where that gutter is leaking. So, again, this is called gutter tape. It can be found in most big box home improvement stores. This will be found in the roofing section of the store over there by the shingles, the tarp paper things like that. You can also ask for it. Usually someone at the construction desk could help you or lead you in the right direction. It's six inches wide, 25 foot rolls. They also have a nine inch width at 25 feet. They even got some longer rolls that are 40, 50, 60 feet. Generally, we carry the six inch width and 25 foot rolls on the truck. Like I said, you can do multiple repairs. You can actually overlap this and, and it will stick to itself. Um, the main thing is the gutter has to be really, really dry, free of debris. So you have to flush the gutter out and then either allow some time to go by for it to dry or get up there with some shop towels. I uh, have even used a hair dryer when it was really cold outside just to kind of heat up that section of gutter. Lay that gutter tape down, get all the air bubbles out of it, push it all out to the edges, and then you can overlap it with other piece of gutter tape as well. And it is a permanent seal. I've seen it last many years. 
This will repair holes up to the size of a uh, dime, even maybe even a little bit bigger. So this is so much better than using silicone. Silicone dries out and does not uh, seal properly. I have seen other people use that flex seal over this tape. I don't particularly think that's necessary, but it won't hurt if that's what you want to do. So again, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps. Please subscribe if this has helped you. And if you're looking for some very specific training on power washing or parking lot striping, check out the link in the description. Also a pinned comment. And also you can go visit BillyDavidsonVIP.com. Again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting and hoping to see you in the next video.